So guys, space, the final frontier, or is that the final hairpiece for Captain Kirk? William Shatner, we all know as Star Trek fans, and it's just fans of William Shatner, that there always was talk, more than talk, speculation, outright, you know, indictment and accusations that he wears a, a toop, he wears a hairpiece, that Captain Kirk... Going back into, of course, the 60s, when the, when Star Trek uh, first launched, went into warp drive. Did, did William Shatner, was Captain Kirk, you know, wearing a wig, a, a, a hairpiece, a toupee, whatever you want to call it? Was his hair not entirely natural? So maybe first things first, uh, more than a few fans and people would say, does it matter, right? Like, you know, there's so many great bald guys going around today. There's so many, you know, great shaved heads and uh, cue balls and, and outright bald or maybe crown like Homer Simpson. Just You just got the crown left, the male pattern bald. So does it really matter? Well, for, for a, uh, you know, an icon, I mean, it, it might be used maybe too liberally today, but, but a true legend, an icon like William Shatner, Captain Kirk, you've got all this attention, right? You've got all this speculation and focus. And it turns out that, yes, indeed, William Shatner not only wore a wig, a, a hairpiece of toupee back in the day, but it's we have the proof now. And we've actually had it for several years, a Desilu document that proves that William Shatner, as Captain Kirk, wore a hairpiece. And now when you look this over and you see Bob Justman, producer, talking to Gene Roddenberry, sending him this memo, talking about Nichelle Nichols and Magel Barrett, their wigs as well were pretty much gone, you know, borrowed, stolen, lifted, whatever. It really gives you an idea and um, this sort of picture of how these stars, these actors, when they go into that dressing room and that makeup and hair area and the, and, and the pros are, you know, making them look so much better or so much different from when they usually do walking around in their daily lives on the street, who wouldn't maybe say, hey, I look so great on TV and my, my show, Star Trek, let me take that wig home, let me borrow the hairpiece. So in, in William Shatner's case, right here, we have the proof. And of course, throughout the years, William Shatner's career has gone on many decades after the 1966 to 69 classic Star Trek. He did all the, the classic uh, Trek movies, then he went into many other films. He did Boston Legal. And if you look at the the, the two pages or look at his hair, I mean, in all fairness, um, how much of it is real? Is it all, but is he all bald or is it, you know, is it hair sort of pieces, hair, hair extensions, uh, maybe even weaves, maybe even some surgical? The point is the man always has that different look. And I still think he looks great, of course, but there you go. Kirk hair. It's a no mystery. It's not a mystery any longer. Hope you subscribe. We hope you're enjoying. See you soon.